Good morning. I'd like to share a devotional thought with you from Psalm 126. Let me read it, and then we'll look at it. This is another one of those songs of ascent, and let's see what it says. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams of the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. And so this is a a very powerful picture, a victorious picture. What you have here is the bringing back the captivity. That doesn't mean to go to go back into captivity. This is where we're talking about God delivering His people, bringing them back out of captivity. Would be the way we would perhaps normally say it. He said, "When this happened, when they were brought back, and of course there were times when they came back out of Egypt. There were times when they came back out of Babylon. And there's going to be a time in our day when God brings people back out of the world." Uh, and all the way, uh, to go all the way with Jesus. Here's what we have. When this happened, he says, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, our tongue with singing, and the people among the nations recognized it. And so there is a beautiful day coming when all of our trials here in this place are over, when they're ended. You know, we will say at some, at one day, heaven was cheap enough, cost Jesus everything. But what it cost us very little, really, the things we give up to be in this beautiful return, the ultimate return we're coming or coming to. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. And if you continually go forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, you will come again. There are good days ahead. All the trials, all the, all the challenges that we face in our life, they're all worth it. Jesus is coming soon. I want my heart to be ready for that time, and I'm sure you do too. Let's pray, and let's talk to God about being ready, being ready when he turns the captivity and when we see Jesus face to face. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, as we look at the Bible, we see uh, four pre-tastes of things, uh, looking back, seeing things that happen, and we see a foretaste there of things yet to come. We want our hearts to be ready. Whatever, however hard it is for us to squeeze through this part of our track, some, some hearing this no doubt are in crisis. Lord, however hard it is, help us to go through, help us to hold on tight. You will get us through. And so Lord, you be our God, bring back, bring us back from captivity. And may we rejoice and sing with the angels and the way the world's looking, that might not be too long. Help us now. Help us to be your children, each one of us, Lord. This is our prayer this morning as we begin this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God be with you. Give you a beautiful day walking with the Lord Jesus Christ.